Today on BRS TV 52 FAQ, isn't a controller a lot more valuable than a monitor? Hi, I'm Ryan, your host of BRS TV 52 FAQ, where each week we answer some of your most common questions. This week we're answering Riley Pasha's question, why would you need a Senai when you already have an Apex or other controller? This is a question we get a lot because there's no question about it. A controller with network capability is a way better solution than a simple monitor. So why would anyone want something like a Senai which only tells you about a problem and is not capable of doing anything about it? I think it's fairly similar to the difference between installing a single Wi-Fi fire alarm which will let you know that there's a fire via email or text messages versus installing an advanced home protection system and a sprinkler system which will not only notify you but also the fire department and set off sprinklers so the issue is already solved by the time the fire department arrives. However, reefers and their tanks are a different breed and a lot of us maintain some pretty advanced notification and redundancy systems on our aquariums to maintain life support and save them in the event of equipment failure or other emergencies. That's particularly important because equipment failure like pumps or heaters burning out is inevitable and everyone who's been in the hobby for more than a few years has experienced this. The experience generally ranging from a general pain to a pretty catastrophic event and mostly related to how quickly you were able to do something about it. A controller like the Apex has a full breadth of tools, sensors, network capability and other elements which not only let you know about the issue but can turn on and off equipment to correct the issue almost in real time. A monitor like the Senai is only going to let you know that the issue exists and do nothing about it. So the answer to Riley's question is I don't think you need a Senai if you already own a controller. The main benefit would be related to redundancy and a backup notification system if the more advanced controller failed or got disconnected from the internet. That does happen. I'm sure reefers with 20 grand invest in their tanks have a backup to their backups like this, but that represents a fairly small portion of reef tank owners. There is native ammonia monitoring and water level monitoring the Senai can do as well, but I don't think that that would be enough to justify both a controller and a monitor for most reefers. This is where the real value of a monitor comes in. It takes about 10 minutes to set up from end to end, no programming language, no advanced 100 page instruction book, no scouring the internet for the perfect code or solution. More or less just plug it into the wall, set up an online account, and put the probe in the water. At that point, you'll get an email and text message anytime the temp on your tank is out of your desired range, meaning your heater failed on or off, your home's AC failed on a 100 degree day or some other issue. You also get similar messages for pH, meaning dosing equipment likely failed, ammonia, meaning something large likely died in the tank, your kids dumped an entire can of food in the tank, water level, meaning your return pump or auto top-off failed, or your auto top-off reservoir is empty. So the difference is you need to go do something about yourself in this case rather than rely on your controller. However, I think you already know which one of these solutions appeals to you. A controller that requires time and effort to set up but is a fairly advanced and robust solution or acknowledging that you have little desire to install and set up equipment like that and the 10 minute setup solution is much more realistic. To be frank, both sides of this equation won't understand each other's needs but both needs absolutely exist. Couple notes on the Senai in particular is if you have the ability to connect to a PC via USB then it's a pretty darn affordable option at 199 bucks. And the fact that it also functions as one of the more accurate parameters in our industry kind of makes it one of the best values as well. Maybe even justifiable as a controller backup solution at that point. However, if you don't have the ability to connect it to a PC, then you'll need the web server box, which is going to add about 250 to the cost, but allows you to connect it anywhere in the house via Wi-Fi. This is a decent investment, but less than a catastrophic equipment or tank failure. The Sun also relies on $11 30-day disposable tabs for the pH and ammonia monitoring. The reefing community generally doesn't like the consumable concept, but to be frank, I think everyone forgets that test kits, pH probes, and calibration packs are all consumable as well. And because testing for ammonia with a test kit is a pain and only relevant to catching an issue prior to it being a problem, no one tests for ammonia. Real-time monitoring alerts have a different type of value than a test kit for ammonia. Open and honest Senai is a somewhat strange mix of solutions with a PAR meter and ammonia monitoring coupled with a few other monitoring solutions. I would personally like to know what you think about it and where you see the value or lack thereof. So join the larger conversation on Reef to Reef. There's a link pinned down below. As always, if you find value exploring questions like this, let us know with a quick thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. See you next week with another BRS TV 52 FAQ.